We good? Is it set? We got it? We good? Okay. So, yo, today we're gonna talk about five shoes in my sneaker collection that I will literally never sell. You could offer me all the money in the world and I promise you, I will never let these go. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! Now, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification for every time I upload a new video, and don't forget to hit the like button because that helps the algorithm oh so much. Now, people ask me this question all the time. DJ, if you had to sell all your shoes and you can only keep a couple, which ones would you keep? Personally, I think there's more than just these five pairs. Honestly, it's six actually if, after you think about it, but these five pairs I think just first came to mind, so these are the first ones that I grabbed, but I honestly think there's maybe like a solid like 10 to 20 pairs that I would never let go of if I had to sell everything but I know these ones right here were the first ones that came to my mind so I wanted to make sure I showed you guys these ones and as most of you guys would expect they are all Air Jordans because I love Jordan so much it was ingrained in my soul my life every single thing since I was a little kid if you haven't seen the previous video on how I got my first pair of Jordans make sure you go check that out it's a great story on how my parents got me laced in J's as a young child and how I grew up to loving Jordans over the years and then what brought me to be a crazy sneakerhead today so let's go ahead and start with the first shoe and actually this is two different shoes but it came from a package so we're going to consider it as one shoe and this is the 1013 Air Jordan CDP pack right here now bruh I have a crazy crazy story behind how I got these but all I can say is I got these gifted to me for free when I very first started collecting sneakers and it was just like the ultimate just blessing it was just so crazy if you guys want to hear the entire story I can make a full individual video about these because trust me it's worth its own video the reason why I put those on my list is because I have a crazy crazy story and a crazy memory from those from when I first started and I know I will never forget that and I'll always cherish those shoes and I will never let them go simply because it was an amazing gift to me next up is a rare exclusive dope PE whatever you want to call it and that is the Air Jordan 12 Ray Allen now this shoe right here this has got the 34 in the back let me grab the other one there you go you got the Ray on the back on this side so the Ray Allen Air Jordan 12 this was my first ever PE in my collection I ended up owning three pairs of these over time sold the other two pairs but this is the actual first pair that I originally purchased when I first started collecting PEs this was a very very long time ago again if you haven't seen this video make sure you go check that video out as well it's on the channel probably have a link down below or somewhere here above for you guys to check out how I got started into PEs but this PE right here it just it has no value obviously I got it for a great deal from then relative to the price now but I'm not even worried about that simply because this what got me into it I really love Ray Allen his PEs Chris Paul Mike Bibby all those guys and when I first got these bro I was so excited so ecstatic and I could never forget that day so I know for me personally these just like they're gonna go in a case like I'm gonna tell stories about these for many many years and I'm honestly just very excited to keep these in my collection for a very very long time if you are into collecting PEs or anything like that drop a comment down below let me know what your first PE was or what your first PE is to be someday or whatever it may be I always love hearing different stories around PEs because they're not as easy to get as a GR or a quick strike or whatever it may be they're a little bit harder they got a little bit more dollar value to it you had to work a little bit harder for it and I think that's what's so dope about PEs and collecting we can make a whole another entire video simply about PEs alone which I can get into that if you want so drop a comment down below but yes this is my favorite no matter I didn't have some crazy PEs but this one right here means the most to me because this is where it all started and for me it's always about the homage and the starting and just where it began and never forgetting those moments so for me I can never let these go next up is another one that I will cherish oh so much because I used to have these when I was a kid I beat them to the ground literally the shoe was falling apart and I just bruh I got so many memories from my sixth grade year rocking this shoe and that is the Chicago patent leather mid Air Jordan 1 bruh such good times such good eras remember they had the carolina they had the black and gold and then they had the chicago i had the entire pack i got rid of the other two because the carolina started to yellow the black and gold started to get ashy and the patent leather started to crack but for some reason the one that i love the most is not yellowing it's not falling apart and they still look amazing and i still get to rock these ever so often so for me personally when i was able to finally get these again when i was in high school bruh i was so happy i knew i would never get rid of these and man I'm still excited just every time I hold these and look at them because 
oh, I got so many good memories literally from when I was younger, from when I was in high school, when I was in college, like so many great memories behind this shoe. I could make a whole book about this shoe right here. So these have to go in my top five must keeps. I can never let these things go. I don't care if they're worth a lot or a little. These things right here, I love them. Next up is my favorite shoe of all time. My favorite shoe of all time. I don't care what nobody says. Yes, you're hearing it right now. You heard it live. That's right. The infrared Air Jordan 6. That Nike Air on the back. That 2000 joint. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take it back 20 years on them real quick. Now, I didn't want the OG pair simply because of age and it's going to fall apart and all those other factors to it. But this one still has life to it. And that's why I was so happy about this pair. From I got these in 2008. So th at that time, they were still, you know, eight or nine years old. And look at them today. Still icy clean. Like, bruh. Oh my gosh. Yes. I love this shoe. I have every generation, every retro, re-retro, every single one besides the original. Again, I didn't want the original because of the reasons of aging and all those things. I don't have to redo the soles and the midsoles and all that stuff. So I decided to go from there on out. But besides that, yes, I have every single retro, every version. And this is my favorite one this one right here i will never forget the day that i got these i'll never forget the day i literally got these shoes in the mail actually the first pair that i got wasn't even my size i had those and i had to bring them to school anyways just because they didn't even fit me i literally brought them to school in my backpack back in high school just to show people like bro i finally got the infrared sixes i remember walking around school all day just showing my homies like i got the infrared sixes i got the infrared sixes i wasn't even worried about class i was just so happy to show people about my shoes and then I was able to finally get the money together to find a great pair in my size on eBay for a great deal. Back in the day, this is like, I think uh, 2009 when I purchased these and they're still holding on strong. They're looking great. And I'm telling you right now, yes, yes. That's all I got to say is yes. Yes, I love them. Okay, last but not least, trust me, I have plenty other shoes that I would love to show you guys, but I was trying to condense this down and only show you guys five shoes in this video. But this one right here, <laughs> I have to show you because if it wasn't for this shoe, it wouldn't have got me started. And then if it wouldn't have got me started, I wouldn't have got to where I am today. I wouldn't have had the success of business and all those other things. So that is the Air Jordan 8 playoff. Oh my gosh, the craziest story. If you haven't seen this video, please check this video out, man. I explained how I got these shoes and the stuff that we went through literally to just get this first pair of shoes in my collection, how I got the money, how we camped out, it was freezing cold, all those different things listen to that story watch that video but i'm telling you right now if it wasn't for these right here it wouldn't be none of all this stuff so i would say i've had jays my whole life my parents kept me laced again we talked about that in the video and i appreciate them for that but when i got to high school they said no you got to figure it out you got to get what you want so when i finally got my money together and i was able to get a pair of shoes that i wanted to actually like start collecting with this was that shoe and i just cherished these so much this is the exact pair i still have them in great condition right now and honestly man i just have to always pay respect to this shoe i always have to keep these in a case i always have to make sure they're taken care of i gotta make sure they're dusted off and they look really good because if it wasn't for these none of this stuff would happen again i have to keep repeating that because i'm telling you right now this is what got me hooked and i'm never Oh man, I'm never gonna not appreciate this shoe right here. None of this would have happened, man. You guys wouldn't even be watching these YouTube videos. I appreciate all these shoes. I love sharing these stories with you guys. And I want to get deeper into more stories behind all these shoes in my collection. It takes time to get through all these videos. I hope you guys appreciate it. Let me know what your top five never gonna sell, whatever you wanna call it, shoes in your collection are. Shoes that you're just never gonna let go. No matter how much money somebody offers you, you're just not gonna sell them. And people are like, money talks, money talks. I get that, but okay, I'm not worried about money that much. And honestly, I'm not about to sell these shoes. So you can say all you want, but I'm telling you right now, these ain't going nowhere. I can literally go find another way to get whatever I need with some other money, and I'm not selling these shoes. So it is what it is, but that's how I feel about these sneakers right here. They mean so much more to me than the value of them, and that's what I love about sneakers. Not about the resale, not about the hype, not about none of that stuff. Yeah, I could have put Off-White and all the other different type of sneakers in this video, but honestly, those don't mean nearly as much as these shoes do to me. And I truly hope that you guys see where I'm coming from on this aspect, because again, it's not about the hype all the time. It's not about the value all the time. It's not about all that stuff. 
I don't care if it's not dope to everybody else or whatever it may be. It's about what you like, what you buy. Nobody else is paying your bills. Nobody else is buying your shoes for you. So never worry about other people's opinions and literally just cop what you like and cop the shoes that you love. Work hard for your stuff. Continue to grind. If you can't afford it right now, trust me, I believe that you will be able to get that shoe that you want. If you want to have this sneaker collection, you can have this type of sneaker collection too. If you want to have more shoes than me, go have more shoes than me. It's never a competition. I just want you guys to love and cherish sneakers as much as I do because I just love these things so much for some reason. I know I got a problem. I'm kind of addicted, but it is what it is. So that's my time. I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys sharing some love for sneakers like always. I appreciate you guys and I'm going to see you in another video. Hope you guys have a great week. I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and you want to make extra money or grow your shoe collection, I want to give you a free video with my three tips that were the most powerful that will help you grow your sneaker collection and make an additional $1,000 to $10,000 a month. All you need to do to get this free video is click on the first link in the description or the comment that's pinned in the comment section. That'll take you to a page where you can enter your email address and I'll make sure that I send you a video right away. And if you enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My name is DJ. I'm signing out. I got to go. I'm gone. Peace.